come down into our lunge position here. We're just going to stretch through our hip flexors here. After we've warmed up a little bit, then come back and stretch through the hamstring. So pull back into that hamstring stretch through that leg. And then back into that hip flexor stretch on the back leg. And then come back to the hamstring again. Incidentally, we're stretching through that knee and kneeling back on too. And if you've got your toes tucked, so you're stretching through the, the uh, fascia of your feet too. Just hang into that stretch again. Hip flexors and then back. Into that leg. And then we'll stop over the other side. Nice big hip flexor stretch. And then pull it back into the hamstring. Into the hip flexors. So there's quite a bit of ab work today, which is nice. Come back. There is burpees in there. I am denied whether we can do burpees or not. If you feel like you can't do burpees, then just change them to squats if you like, or push ups. Or just do the the burpees without the chest to your ground, chest to the ground. But if you can do them, make sure you do them. Let's just hang in the deep squat for a moment, pushing our legs out. Just holding here. And in this position, we can start to reach up to the sky. This is a really, really good way to get your thoracic mobility up. Pretty intense to try and keep your legs straight in a, in a deep squat and rotate up. It's quite a challenge for most people. So if you can improve upon this, you're doing quite well. Let's do a couple more. Nice. All right. So like I said, 15 exercises, 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We start on Tibetan Sun push-ups, okay, which is simply going from a down dog position into a push-up and pushing back into up into down dog, um, if you prefer that language, like yoga language. And then I'm just gonna, you just need to follow my lead for the rest of it. It's all for pretty straightforward. There's nothing of, of great technicality in there. Um, probably one we haven't done for a long time is a Russian twist at the very end. Um, but if you know what they are, they're fairly basic anyway. Otherwise, they all the rest of them are super, super easy. Any questions? Nope, make sure your water's close by. But you will have a long 20 seconds to drink it anyway, so. <clears throat> That's cool. Let's rock and roll. So, Tibetan Sun push-ups, we're on in five seconds. Tibetan Sun push-ups, come down, down dog. You come down, push to the ground, push up off the ground. Come down, push up off the ground. Always pushing back into down dog. A nice, easy style push up. Really pleasant and basic. You can do this from your knees too, you just push up onto your knees and then push up into down dog. Drop your knees, come down into a push up. Like so forth, you okay? know? Oh, so easy, right? 20 seconds rest. Next up, straight up burpees. Straight into it. So, 30 seconds of burpees. See if you can hit double digits would be really good. But if you can get five done, you're doing well. seconds. We can get 12 done, I just did 12, which was 
surprising for me. Pikes next. So coming down on the ground. Keeping the legs together, reaching up to our toes. Like a leg raise, but you reach up to your toes. Nice. 20 seconds rest. We've got lateral squat jumps. So it's like you're jumping over a line or over an object, landing softly. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down the squat, land softly. Remember, landing softly and getting your bum down is really paramount to this because you want to encourage that elasticity in your muscles, right? Like I'm a bigger guy, but you've got to be gentle with your body. So it allows us to continue to have elasticity as opposed to rigidness. Next up is a plank hollow out. So we come down into full plank on our hands and we hollow out. Here we go. Glutes and quads on, hollowing out, tucking your chin, rounding your shoulders out and just holding, tensing down your abs as much as you can, flexing. Nice one. Next up, rotational push-ups. So we're gonna come down the push-up, open up to a big side plank, and then you rotate side to side. You can do this from your knees or from your feet, it's up to you. So come down the push-up, open. Down the push-up, open the opposite side. Down the push-up, open. That's it, 20 second rest. Full climbers, so full mountain climbers. That means that they come, your feet come up to your hands. So not just little steps, we're trying to really jump right up there. You can do it without the jump and just walk like this. Or you can full jump, big long steps. which is pretty challenging. Guesses you're pretty quick, I find. Nice. Coming on to our backs now. Ankle taps. So with these, we just reach around, touch our ankle, back and forth, just nice and gently. Here we go. Touch, touch. You always come back, just touching behind the back of your ear here. Really cruisy. It's all to do with your abs, not to do it with, not to be doing it really quickly or anything like that. That's not the goal. Just to get your abs nice and strong in that dynamic fashion. Oh, yeah. Next up, walking lunges. So up on our feet. 
You can do stationary lunges if you want, whatever you prefer. And lick my water bottle. Cat's trying to lick my water bottle. Just walk in lunging. And the goal is to progress off here, not touch in the middle. Progress off, not touch in the middle. Progress off. That makes sense. So it's all about stability. Well done. Hollow body rock, so we're back down to the ground. We're going to hollow body, but we're going to rock back and forth for 30 seconds if we can handle it. Here we go, three, two, one. So this is a hollow body, and this is the rock. I'm just gonna rock back and forth, like you're curved like a banana. Good, 10 seconds to go. Nice. Next one's a favorite for most people. It's kick sits. Most people find it challenging. But it's quite, it's easy if you just do what it says, right? Kick out and sit. So you're in this position, kick, sit. Come back, kick, sit. Kick and sit. Trying to keep that leg straight, but if you can't, you just sit down with a bent leg. You're just coming over, sitting down with a bent leg. That's fine, as long as you get that twist, and you get that mobilizing, that's totally cool. And that's it there. Next up, Cobra push-ups. Three different sorts of push-ups, which is nice today. So cobra can be done on your knees or your toes too. It just means you're coming over your hands a little bit further, peeling yourself up, sort of getting your hips towards the ground. And down, peeling up. And the toes, same thing like cobra and yoga. Or up dog. Really good for your triceps. A few more seconds. Nice. Coming on to our back again. High boat, low boat. High boat, low boat. So this is high boat, this is low boat. We just pull up, high boat to low boat. Here we go. Come to high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat. The key here is coming slowly down. Last little bit. Good. Up for reverse lunges now. Second to last exercise. If you remember what the last one is, you'll know that that's coming. So we're alternating reverse lunges now. Pretty straightforward. You can use something beside you for support or use your knees for support. Either is fine, otherwise hands by your sides or on your hips. Nice one. Last one, Russian twists. So a couple different ways you can do these. You're either seated like this, touching the ground, 
touching the ground, or you're in high boat, so your legs are off the ground, touching the ground, touching the ground. The key is you're looking at your hands. Okay, here we go. And you might have seen these done in the gym with a ball or a weight, and that's up to you. It's all about that twist. Trying to twist your shoulders with it. Slight lean back. Done. Well done. And so now we rest for a moment and we are going to go right back to the top. We feeling okay? How you doing work, Rowie? <laughs> you are, aren't you? <laughs> So Getting get emails from Alistair, I thought I'd just better check if it was urgent. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to reset the timer. That was all pretty straightforward. <sighs> so we'll go from Tibetan Sun push ups in just a moment. Muted you again, bro. So, Tibetan Sun push-ups, we're going to go in about 15 seconds. It's another 10 second rest. Should be nice and sweaty, I'm pretty sweaty now. And if you remember what second, you'll be saving yourself for that, right? Here we go, five seconds, we're on. Tibetan Sun push-ups. So start and down dog, come down, push up. We're officially over the halfway mark. Ready for burpees. Remember to do your own version, do as many as you can within that time frame. You want to really challenge yourself. Three, two, one, here we go. Cool, coming down for pikes on our back. Here we go. So reach up to our toes. squat jumps now, so we're up on our feet, oh yeah there's a delayed response from those derbies, two, All right, here we go, remember soft response here, being the ankles and the knees and the hips all at once,
Nice work. Now we're going to plank hollow out, so full plank hollow out on our hands. Two, one, here we go. Hold and steady, tuck your chin, round your shoulders, squeeze your glutes, and squeeze your abs like crazy. Rotational push-ups now. So we come down for a push-up, open up to side plank. We got this team. It's the last under 10 minutes, under eight minutes even. Here we go. Push up, open. Come down, push up, open. 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 Down, open. Down, open. Well done. Full climbers now. They're always the hard ones, I reckon. So like big mountain climbers. Three, two, one, here we go. Taps. So we're on our backs now. Whew. Come on, here we go. Nice, up for walking lunges now. So choose your direction. I got a diagonal of the room. Two, one, here we go. Remember you can use that front knee if you want. You could do static lunges if you really want. that hollow body rock come on down six more exercises to go not far that means three minutes of work time not long here we go and exactly two minutes of rest time as well Ah, 
Nice. Kick sits now. So just doing your best through those. Five seconds. Kick, sit, kick, sit, kick, sit. Good, that's it there team. Cobra push-ups. Nice, coming down for high boat, low boat. Now, third to last exercise team. Doing very well. Before we do a big stretch, here we go. High boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat. High boat, low boat, high boat, low boat, high boat, high boat, almost there. Woo. Up for reverse lunges, alternating reverses. Harry, dog staring in the window at me. There we go. I mean, you can be using that front leg if you want. Or just hands by your sides, or hands on your hips. Whatever works well for you. Nice Russian twists now. The finale. So if you're doing these with your feet on the ground, I want you to try just hovering them for a little bit. See how you go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. And give your hands like to prayer, kind of. And just reaching around. Following with your eyes and your shoulders. Twisting. Again, this is like angle taps. You're not in a race to go fast. You're just trying to twist, keep the integrity of the movement. Keep your core tight without your back hurting. If your back starts to hurt, your core's switching off or fatiguing. That's it. Well done. There we have that low to moderate yeah. cardio. <laughs> Intensity is all individual, right? It helps having those burpees at the start. Just to really get the heart racing. We'll just rest here for a moment, just kneeling. And then we'll lay back for a stretch. The best time now when you're really warm just to kneel down on your on your heels on your knees and see if you can 
relax into it when your knees are the warmest, muscles are the warmest. That's good. And then just come down to the ground. A couple of breaths here too. And we'll just pull that one leg up to your chest. Move the ankle around there. Forth, up and down, around, around, and then over to one side, looking out over the opposite shoulder. Remember, not forcing, just relaxing. Good, coming back, other leg up. And send that leg across your body. Looking out over the opposite shoulder. Gonna come up, soles of our feet together, just leaning down into our groins there. You can push down with your elbows just gently, push back with your legs a little bit. And then we'll put one leg out behind you into a fallen pigeon. We'll just lean into this front leg towards the foot if you can because it'll get through the glutes the nicest but do whatever feels right for you and then to the other side Lean over into the front leg. Harry. <laughs> Our dog's serious bark. Go on then, just let your legs come around to the front. Just nice and straight in front of you. You can soften your knees a little bit or just hinge forward, stretching out through those hamstrings. Might feel the top of the calves, bottom of the feet maybe, lower back sometimes and through your lats. Harrison, hurry. Good, and then we're gonna come out as wide as we possibly can into these stretches that I love. I find these really rewarding for most people. So as wide as you possibly can go and just leaning into this forward fold. If you can't go forward, you just pull back, pull your chest up. And you're just trying to lean into this as much as you can. And you come around onto the inside edge of our leg with our elbow on the ground if you can. If you can't, just as low as you can get it and try and open your chest wide open and then sending your arm over to reach while keeping your chest open. Lean into it. We'll come back onto the other side, so elbow down onto the ground if you can, opening the chest and reaching. You get nice deep breaths here.
So then, just coming up, we'll do a good quad stretch. Just standing up on our feet if you can. Hold on to the wall if you need. Nice big quad stretch. <clears throat> And over to the other side. It's a nice big chest stretch now on the door frame. Swap around to the other side. And then come on down for a lat stretch. <clears throat> so pulling in into the door frame, pushing your bum back. Look out under the armpit. And over to the other side. Good. And that is it, well done, team.